And cameras at speed. And mark it. I'm the unicorn. You say, boy, you're trying to play court. I've always stood out in the crowd. Been different from the other horses. I've always had a certain flair and can be a bit of a show pony. Someone who's extraordinary. He's got a presence about him. I mean, look at that mane. I mentioned this competition because it sounds fun. And I'm always up for a party. A unicorn is a one of a kind. We sparkle. He has the essence of a star and he knows it. Very proud and confident of who they are. What well, kick my way into the competition? Let's find out. Letters and he received them with the strange delight, just like his wife, but how she was before the tears, but how she was before the years flew by, but how she was when she was beautiful. She wanted to test her husband, so she arranged a place to go to see if he would fall for her incognito. And when he laid eyes on her, he had the feeling they had met before. Uncanny how she might him of his little lady. Capacity to give him all his needs Just like his wife before she prays on him Just like his wife when she was beautiful He shouted out Oh yes, babushka, 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 yeah, yeah Oh yes, babushka, babushka, babushka Wonderful, well done, Unicorn. Jonathan, that was amazing. It was amazing. It what was. a great performance there. And you know what? That outfit, can't, not everyone could get away with that. You were born to show that horn. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only contestant so far that's in character. That kind of commitment only goes from someone who is a professional singer, someone who's possibly a recording artist. Yeah. Great job. <laughs> Davina. I wonder whether it is some kind of a dancer or performer. Person I was thinking it was Louis Spence putting on some yeah. kind of oh. American accent. Because the way you're jiggling now, that's Louis Spence. He's, no, he's always moving. It's totally he's Louis. Thinking. I think that you are fantastic, whoever you are. Yeah. Yeah. I think you shine even behind this mask. You clearly know what you're doing. I'm going to go with Adam Lambert. Oh, yeah, and that is something he'd wear. That is good. Oh, great guess. I was thinking about the disco track there, so if someone who loves disco, who maybe likes that period, mm. I've got you. John Bowerman. Oh. Do you have any clues for us, Unicorn? When I was a child, I used to go on holiday with my family 
on a private plane. Private plane. Maybe he has a famous family. You know, it could be, it's Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> <laughs> That's really thrown me. I know exactly who this is. Ken Zed. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. All right, guys. Let's just put this all standing? together. He's He's doing let's again. put this all together. He's got an American accent. He's a star. He's on the rise. He's jumping up. Grew up on a private plane. Maybe not as a child star, but maybe 20 years ago when he was a big pop star in a band like, I don't know, In Sync, maybe. <gasps> And they flew on private planes back in the day and still do because they're still relevant. <laughs> and let me tell you something. This guy, he's done Broadway, is a singer, can hit the high notes. So J.C. Chazes, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Good job. Yes, welcome. Okay. Wow. Okay. Love it. Well, we'll only ever find out the real identity when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Unicorn. Oh, yeah. Barrowman. Do you know how tall he is? Is he that tall? Easy. Barrowman. Sounded like it. Our panel think one of these celebrities is behind the mask, but who do you think it is? The panel have no idea who I am, or do they? Performance. It was just how challenging it is to perform in these costumes. I do like attention. I'm going to go with Adam Lambert, Louis Spence. I've got you. John Bowerman. I don't know who he is, but if I did, I would say that he is fabulous. I grew up on a small island, but the lights of the big city beckoned. I've got the, the world big apple, New York City. So I bowled from hometown. What a world. I've always been theatrical. I tap dance my way through school. So to see my own name up in lights, that was a dream come true. There's something about being on stage that feels magic. But what about one man show? Yeah, one man show on Broadway. Tonight, I'm gonna throw back my mane, kick up my hooves, and give it everything I've got. He mentioned John Bowman, and maybe that's a double bluff. Mirror, mirror on the wall, don't say it because I know I'm cute. Lure it down to my drawers, LV on all my shoes. I've been drinking so much salt, got a bitch looking like Brad Goo. Like that's That's cool, baby, so are you. If I'm shining at it, go inside I was born this way, don't even need to try Starting to make it better over time Heard you say I'm not the baddest You lied Incredible! The, the, this side, this side. 
Well done. Jonathan, that was incredible. It was great. What a great performance. What a great start to the show. Thank you, Unicorn, as always. Yes. You brought the dance in. You brought the dance in. You brought the energy. You brought the shake and you brought the juice. We like that about you. In the VT, he mentioned John Barrowman. But now I'm thinking, why would he mention him? I know John. I love John Barrowman. But I think John Barrowman is taller than you. Yeah. yeah that's and the I one think thing. also, I think also he's camper than you. Of course, he's camper than everyone. So oh, yeah. that's not saying. So maybe it isn't. They mentioned Ireland, didn't they? On a small island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, small right? island, yeah, And you true. know who can sing? I don't know about the actors, but who can sing and is about the same physique there, and I know he can get the high notes well. Peter Andre. Oh. What do you think about Peter? <laughs> <laughs> he either loves the idea or he hates the idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, what are you, what are you oh, thinking? I am all for the feathers, darling. I love yes. the feathers. Yeah. It's so me. Um, and I have this thing, maybe you might be Matthew Morrison. I love Glee and he's got a great voice and amazing falsetto. I don't think rapping is like your go-to. You were a bit out of breath there a few times. But, I, but, but you carried on through, Unicorn. Exactly. You went through, through it. Through it. Through it. Through it. Yes. Push through the rap. Now, one of the clues that we had the last time last was week. he grew up on a private jet. Yeah. Yep. Ariana Grande spends a lot of time on private jets. So I'm thinking Frankie Grande. It's her brother. Yeah. He's grown up on the jets. He's quite flamboyant. And he's in Broadway as well. And he's in Broadway. Ten. What I love about you, you're committed in character. It makes me think you're someone from Broadway, someone who's American, bolted from his hometown, moved to New York. He can sing, dance, act, do it all. Member of the LGBTQ community, yeah. and is definitely Neil Patrick Harris. Welcome to the Mac. These guys Day love it. Uh, it's a great it show. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. I just thought of that. All right, guys. Well, now it's time to get some clues <laughs> from our celebrity in a game I like to call Two Lies and a Truth. Oh. Mm. It's the point where our celebrity tells us two lies and one truth about themselves. It's that simple. It's like reading my CV. OK, <laughs> over to you, Unicorn. What's your first thought? Go. Pineapple is my favourite food. That's the worst clue in the world. <laughs> Second thought, Unicorn. My girlfriend is very famous. My girlfriend is very famous. Hey, it could be Justin Bieber. Could be Justin Bieber there, Jonathan. Not much of the audience seems to agree, but... <laughs> Just think how nice. stupid you're going to feel when Justin <laughs> takes his hat off. <laughs> Last clue from Unicorn. Acting changed my life. Acting changed my life. I knew it. You're in Glee. You have to be. Has that changed anyone, Jonathan? Well, Helps? I mean, well, not really, because two of them are lies. So it's I like, know. if the truth is I love pineapple, obviously it hasn't changed anything. <laughs> I really want you to stick around, Unicorn, because you make me happy. So who's... Oh. Done? Unbelievable. We'll only find out who Unicorn truly is once their mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, Unicorn! <laughs> I love it. Look, always, always, always in character. Acting changed my life. That could be a lie. Our panel feel like they are galloping towards the answer. But who do you think's behind the mask? The panel have thrown loads of guesses out there, but have they guessed who I am? I think only time will tell. The last performance was full of juice. I love being able to express myself anonymously. Maybe you might be Matthew Morrison. Peter Andre. Frankie Grande. Neil Patrick Harris. Welcome to the Mass Singer! The panel's guesses are all over the place. Some a little closer, some a lot farther away. I'm having a blast in this competition because I get to come out and perform, which is a huge passion of mine. He's American. Yes. But another passion I have is to write. So write music? Maybe he's an author. I especially love fantasy and horror. That's one of the reasons I've become the unicorn. I'm a fantastical beast and a beauty. <laughs> Fantastic Beasts. Who's the guy in that film? Eddie Redmayne. I don't write just for myself. Some pretty big names have used my writing. Even Sarah Jessica Parker has spoken my words, which definitely brought me some glee. Glee! Sarah Jessica Parker. 
So he's written screenplays. I may have written for some big names, but tonight, I hope I'm the main attraction. Loads of clues up. I know, I'm completely overwhelmed. What song is this? Sharp Dressed Man. Please say, black suits, I don't care where I'm going to. Black suits, yeah. I feel tired, I don't need a reason why. The world will run, just as fast as you can. Everybody's crazy about a sharp dressed man. Woo! Everybody's crazy about a sharp dressed man. Woo! What I love about you, Unicorn, I was watching you as you walked out. You are always the unicorn. You're always in it. Yes. Always. And you keep that attitude, you could win this thing, buddy. I mean, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna walk home like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, any names that are springing to mind? There was a big clue in there. You said the word glee. Glee. Yes. That's I you yes. must be something to do with the Thank amazing you. television show Glee. You, yes. You've been saying Matthew, haven't I've you? I've always been saying that you're Matthew Morrison from Glee. Oh. Yes, oh, guys! Audience is with you there. You said you're a writer, and I know Matthew writes, and obviously he's an actor. But at the same time, it's either that or another one I've been thinking. Maybe Zac Efron, because Zac Efron can sing. Zac is more like me, very buff. That you know is Chris physique. Yeah. He is. You have such unbelievable energy and when I heard the falsetto, I thought Jake Shears from Scissor Sisters. Um, thank you, I've got three claps there. <laughs> Davina, if that is Jake Shears, I will eat one of those feathers. OK, well, I'll look forward to watching that. <laughs> Donnie, did the song choice help at all? I have no idea. <laughs> 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 we admire your honesty. <laughs> no, I love the theatrics that you did. And there's been some clues about the LGBTQ community, the colors, the rainbow and all that stuff. And who, who do you think, think is this? It could be John Barrowman. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking all along that it might be, but can I just throw someone else in out of left field? Yes, please do, Jonathan. And I think the audience are going to go nuts because I think I've hit it on the head. Ah. Uh, <laughs> really when you say that, Jonathan. To go Here crazy. Go. Yes, Jonathan. Alan Carr, ladies and gentlemen. Alan, welcome to the show. Alan Carr, of course it's Alan Carr. Very popular choice in the studio. Thank you. him. We'll only know who this fabulous creature truly is once their mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Unicorn. <laughs> I think you could be way be Martin. He's about that size, aren't they? Yeah, and he's so fun. Bowerman's a lot bigger. Our panel think one of these men are under the main, but who do you think it is? I'm not worried about them guessing because I am going to be the last mask standing. I am in it to win it! My last performance left the panel divided. 
Zach Efron, John Barman, Jake Shears, Matthew Morrison from Glee, and I'm not about to make it any easier for them. I've always liked playing dress up. Give me any excuse to throw on something fun and I'll do it. Showy, exotic. Yes! Without dressing up, life would be a real drag. Oh, a drag, it's a drag act. He was in Kinky Boots. A friend of mine once closed down an entire fashion store and bought me the whole collection. It doesn't have to be store-bought, though. I'll happily whip up something for nothing. Speaking of nothing, Ozzy Osbourne once saw me in nothing but my birthday suit. Tonight, I'm not horsing around. I'm here to win. to say that I'm so pleased that for the Osbournes tonight you managed to pull out your best performance yeah. so far. It's amazing. You got any names? Ozzy has seen you naked. Jack Osborne is not here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Osborne's going to change his yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's Jack Osborne. Are you here to see your mum and sister? That would be a dream come true for me. <laughs> But I really do think I know who you are. I really do think I know who you Kelly, are. Kelly, who is it? I think it's Jake Shears from the Scissor Sisters. Oh, that name has come up before. Davina, you did say that, didn't you? Yeah. Because I know that my dad has seen him naked. D oh, really? Oh, has he? Was it Elton's, um... Uh, stag party. Stag party, yes. It was an Elton stag party. I know. That's the coolest thing <laughs> I have ever heard. How about, guys, can I just throw... I think it might be a drag act. It might not necessarily be someone who's a pop star, cos the Kinky Boots, could it be in there, could it be Courtney Act, who won Celebrity Big Brother? Yes. yes. There's a chance it could be Courtney? That's a good Maybe. I'm gonna stick with Matthew Morrison, cos there was a lot of Glee references. Yes. yes. Well, I hope Matthew wasn't naked in front of my husband. Yeah, well, Sharon, who hasn't been naked in front of us? Come on. I that know. is true. I know. OK, uh, it's fair to say we need a few more clues to work out who Unicorn is. So we captured this unguarded moment in makeup. Ooh. Oh, OK. Are you on socials? Oh, yeah. Dino Cher once contacted me on Twitter to get my phone number. Jake Shears. That's definitely yeah, Jake Shears. Definitely. I mean, yeah, that yeah, could yeah, totally yeah, happen yeah. to Jake. I don't know. It's so hard. There's so many different clues. Yeah. I've got to 
say that's a really tidy body under there. Are you pointing at me or the unicorn? <laughs> see the head beneath the horn once Unicorn is unmasked. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Unicorn! Woo! I love the Unicorn. Look, chops all the way out of it. Look. Our panel think one of this lot are behind the trot. But who do you think it is? The panel threw out a few more names tonight, but they were very funny and made me laugh. Panel, this is crunch time. Yeah. Can you please discuss amongst yourselves and decide which one celebrity you would like to save? Whichever masked singer the panel decide to save will go through to the next show. The other will be unmasked. Okay. All right. <sighs> this is really difficult. You both are so good at what you've done on this whole show. Like, you both really committed to your characters. You both did such an amazing job. Have the panel made a decision? Yes. The Masked Singer, we would like to see again, is... Your mask is staying firmly on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Fox! <laughs> so, oh, Unicorn is our second celebrity of the night to be unmasked. But first, panel, who do you think is behind the mask? Without question, Jake Shears. <laughs> I can't even think of anyone else who's been, been naked, naked in front of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, who do yes. you think it is? Oh, I think it's Jake. <laughs> Two for Jake. Cheers now. OK. Rita. I'm going to agree with the Osbournes over there, and I'm going to say Jake Cheers. Jake yeah. Cheers for Rita. <laughs> Athena, who are you going to go for? It's Jake Cheers. And that's four for Jake Cheers. I'm going to say Courtney Ann. Wow, you're sad to see you go, Unicorn, but let's see if any of you are right. It's time to find out the identity of our masked singer. Unicorn, who's behind the mask? Take, take it off! 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 the time <laughs> of my life. I've been having so much fun. I mean, look at my, I can't, my, I can't I keep my I arms mean, down. I mean, I was like, saying, it's gonna take you days before you walk properly again. No, I'm gonna be walking around literally like two days. <laughs> Why, Jake, did you decide to do this show in the first place? I mean, it's just right up my alley. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it was a no-brainer for me. I was so excited. We loved seeing you perform every night. It's just been like an absolute blast. And Ozzy seen you naked. It's where, true. where did he see you naked? I was at Elton Stag do, and <laughs> I was on pole. And... Oh. It was fabulous. It was a good time. It was yeah, really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for everything. It means so sweet. It's been the best. I've had the best time. So and that is it for tonight. What a show. Next week, the Masked Singer continues. But before we go, singing us out, unmasked at last, ladies and gentlemen, it's Jake Sheehan! Yeah.